discuss buoyancy frequency today it's also it is also referred to as the brendois shala frequency before that we must understand two key ideas the archimedes principle and stable unstable neutral equilibrium so let me give you a, give you a brief explanation of this two concepts the first one is the archimedes principle the archimedes principle has two parts first when a body is immersed in a fluid the buoyant up thrust or buoyant up, up force on a body is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body and the second part is the volume of the fluid displaced by a body is equal to the volume of the submerged part of the body <coughs> we can demonstrate archimedes principle with a simple experimental setup this requires a spring balance a so solid object and an overflow can a small beaker for collecting overflowed water take the weight of the solid object in air in air the force acting on it is the body's weight and which, which is in downward direction where negative sign which, which is represented downward direction is represented by negative sign and where m is the mass of the body and g is the acceleration due to gravity that at that place then as shown here dip it into an the overflow can when an object is submerged in water it will experience two forces the body's weight downward as minus mg and the buoyant up thrust as b hence net effect is that the weight of the object decreases and part of the water will overflow the overflowed water is collected in a beaker according to the first part of archimedes principle weight loss or buoyancy acting on an object in a water is equal to the weight of the water being displaced by weighing the water in this beaker we can prove it in general we can state that when an object is immersed partially or completely in a fluid the buoyancy experienced by it will be equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it according to the second part of archimedes principle the volume of this water displaced by the object is equal to the volume of the object i believe the concept of archimedes principle is now clear let us discuss neutral unstable and stable equilibrium next using three different surfaces and a small bowl we can explain this keep this bowl on a concave surface like this when a minor disturbance is applied this bowl oscillated oscillate for a short time from its mean position and it will come to rest here this equilibrium condition is known as a stable equilibrium condition as shown in this figure imagine that a ball is on the convex surface there the ball is unstable and it will roll either left or right never returning to its equilibrium position this condition is referred to as a unstable equilibrium condition this is the neutral equilibrium condition so named because the ball is stable at any location on the plane under this curve from the three condition we can see that a ball only tends to return its original position when it is in stable equilibrium condition when it returns to its initial position it will overshoot to opposite direction and oscillate about the mean position this oscillation is known as simple harmonic motion or simple harmonic oscillation this is the general equation of a simple harmonic motion where z is the displacement 
and omega is the frequency of oscillation now we are moving to the concept of buoyancy frequency we are discussing the buoyancy frequency of an incompressible fluid like ocean water which is essential to keep in mind <coughs> Consider a stable stratified oceanic condition like this, where upper layer, layer is lighter than lower layer. This can be represented as rho and rho plus delta rho respectively. Consider the water parcel having density rho in upper layer. When a disturbance such as tides, wind or winds is imparted to the stable water column, it causes downward displacement of this water parcel, parcel. Assume this downward displacement is delta Z. Now the displaced parcels surrounding water has density rho plus delta rho. Since this displacement is faster and the water is incompressible, its density won't change as it moves downward. Hence, displaced parcel is lighter than the surrounding water now now recall the concept of archimedes principle at the bottom water parcel will experience two forces one is downward force caused by the weight of the parcel which can be calculated as the product of the volume of the parcel and density and acceleration due to gravity. The downward direction is represented by negative sign. The second one is the upward force by buoyant upthrust, which can be represented as B. Hence, net force on the parcel is Parcel, net force on the parcel is the parcel's weight plus buoyant upthrust. Hence, which is written, which can be written like this, where uh, this is which this is which is represented as equation one. We represented buoyancy term in this equation with the letter b. However, we can now calculate it using Archimedes principle. According to the first part of Archimedes principle, according to the first part of Archimedes principle, the buoyant upthrust is equal to the weight of the surrounding fluid displaced. Here, weight, weight of surrounding fluid is volume of the fluid into rho plus delta rho into g. Then, according to the second part of Archimedes principle, the volume of the fluid displaced is equal to volume of the fluid. This volume of the fluid is displaced is equal to volume of the fluid parcel or VP. Or Vf equal to VP. Using this, we can rewrite equation 1 as like this, where this is the volume of the parcel, sorry, weight of the parcel, which is negative um, mass into acceler acceleration due to gravity. And here, this is equal to the volume of the fluid. Hence, we can represent it as a Vp. Then, density of the surrounding water is rho plus delta rho into g. Using Tyler's expansion, we can write rho plus delta rho is equal to rho plus d rho by dz into delta z, where delta z is the displacement of the parcel from its original position. Uh, this F net, hence this equation is we can return as equation 2. Cancelling and 
rearrange and then we can rewrite this equation to us like this using Taylor's expansion. Using Taylor's expansion, we can rewrite this equation to us like this. And cancelling and rearranging the terms in this equation, we will get equation 4 where f net is equal to volume of the parcel into acceleration due to gravity into d rho by dz into delta z which is represented as equation 4 since net force is positive the parcel is unstable and it will accelerate upward as it returns to its initial position according to the Newton's law of loss of motion we know that net force on an acceleration body is equal to the product of the mass and the acceleration of the body. Where here in this case object body is fluid parcel and its mass is density of the parcel into volume of the parcel and its acceleration can be written as because it is returning to original position acceleration is d square delta z by dt square so in, insert this term in equation 5 in this part we can return equation 5 as like this this we can return as equation 6 by uh, cancelling the common terms sorry, and rearranging this equation finally we will get this equation this is uh, then by rearranging it again and we will get equation in this form this is the equation 8 this equation please recall the concept of simple harmonic motion and this is equation is the same as same form of simple harmonic motion and simple harmonic motion and here in the position of omega we will get this term We can write this term in general as n square or omega square is, is we can represent it as n square where n is equal to root of minus g by rho d rho by dz where n is the frequency of oscillation. This oscillation is known as buoyancy frequency. Buoyancy frequency has importance in the internal waves of the ocean. Consider the oceanic condition where upper layer has a density rho plus rho and lower layer has a density rho plus delta rho. As discussed earlier, consider a water parcel in upper layer which has a density rho. Any disturbance such as wind because any disturbance because of wind or tide causes the movement of water parcel downward. Since this water parcel is unstable here. As discussed in the course of all uh, stable equilibrium condition, this water parcel starts to oscillate. This equation of oscillation is the simple harmonic motion. And the frequency of the oscillation is the n square, which is the buoyancy frequency. Hence, buoyancy frequency or this term is the frequency of the oscillation of the internal waves in the ocean. 